Hey everyone, it's Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today I want to show you how to do a bending technique that I don't see being taught very often on YouTube. And uh, it's one that I've heard uh, Zach Wilde, Ted Nugent, and I believe even Slash has used this technique before. Now I had to learn it out of desperation. Nobody taught me how to do this back in the day. I had to use my ear and my imagination and just try a bunch of things until it finally worked. And then many years later when YouTube was invented, I was happy to see that I was correct. I was able to watch videos of them playing it and uh, it was quite a relief. So the reason I had to learn it is because my band was doing a cover of Free For All by Ted Nugent. And there's that part in the song where there's, there's that really cool bend and the whole band stops. And then there seems to be another pre-band right after it. And I couldn't figure out how he was doing it. <laughs> and later on, like I said, I heard Zach Wilde do it in Mama, I'm Coming Home. And I thought that was such a great epic part of the solo. I had to learn how to do it. So here's the basic concept of the bend. We're gonna bend a note, but then when we come back down with the bend, we're actually gonna play another string and let that note come down. So it's this really interesting exchanging of strings as you're bending and releasing. So here's the concept if you separate the two notes. The bend first. Now the other string pre-bend and bring it down. A lot of you might be like, that's not a big deal. Just bend the first one, pre-bend, and drop the next one. But you can hear that gap between the two notes. The secret is in getting rid of that gap. How do you do it? What I do is I bend the first string, 15th fret, in this example. This is the Ted Nugent example. I bend it up a whole step. But what I do when I bend is I also bring the second string with it. So it becomes a double stop bend, like Stevie Ray Vaughan type sound. Which sounds awesome, I love that technique, but we're gonna separate it today. So as you bend up, we're going to be just picking the first string. While it's bent, we have to exchange over to the second string, pick that, and then let it release. It could get really ugly, it could sound like this. That sounded interesting, but we didn't separate the notes. Here's the secret. So here's how I'm doing it. Pick the first string, bend that 15th fret up. Like I said, bring that second string with it. When you go to move to the second string, go ahead and pick that, but let your pick flow right through that string and rest right on that first string to kill it. It's this great muting technique. So you're gonna go like this. Did you watch my pick really carefully? So on the first pick, it's just normal. You bend up. You pick the second string and let the pick rest on top of the first string to kill it. All the while you're engaging that second string and then you're releasing it. So you're picking it at the top of the bend, which is that pre-bend concept. Zach Wilde did it like this. Both using the same technique, obviously just different licks afterwards. So Nugent. Zach Wilde. What I love about this technique is it sounds really interesting and it's really tricky to pull off right away. But once you do, it just feels right to do it. At first, you might have to make a million little tiny adjustments, micro adjustments, but over time, you're just gonna feel what it's like to roll your finger over to that second string to trade it off. And then of course, when you do that muting technique with a pick, it's all gonna fall into place. What I recommend is go ahead and just put on some backing track and maybe E minor or E blues, and just work on the minor pentatonic shape and see if you could do it on the 15th fret or the 17th fret. So you might go like. I just ripped off Ted Nugent there. Or you might go up to 17th fret. Just adding one new technique to your improvising could really spark some new creative ideas. And I'm excited to see what you guys can do with this. Okay, everyone, let me know if there are other examples of people using this technique. Also, let me know if you're able to make it happen or if you're having trouble with it, let me know and I'll try to help you out. All right, we'll catch you at the next video. Okay, bye.